I'm a registered dietitian, and this is my number two reason why I think the glycemic index should never be allowed back into Alamo Draft House. It did not include normal portion sizes. The GI score of a food is determined by feeding an individual 50 grams of available carbohydrates of a specific food. One cup of rice equals about 50 grams of carbohydrates. That's pretty normal. People eat a cup of rice with a meal. But to get that equivalent from foods like fruits and vegetables, which are typically not as high in carbohydrates as things like grains, and have more fiber, you have to eat cups and cups of those bad boys. For instance, four cups of beets, five cups of watermelons, and two whole potatoes equal 50 grams of available carbohydrate. But let's be honest, most of the time people ain't eating four cups of plain beets by themselves or two boiled potatoes without any freaking butter or anything on them, unless you're on that potato diet. So because these foods are nutritionally dense, calorically low, and include fiber, you have to eat a lot of them to equal that 50 gram requirement. Because of this, in the original study, participants reported not being able to finish the food in time because they were only allotted 10 to 15 minutes per food item. And yes, the glycemic load takes this into consideration, and that's why some people think it's better. But I don't, and I did a video on it, so go look for it. It's probably titled Glycemic Load, Pile of Caca, or something like that. I don't know.